Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to handle keyboard input in WebGL. So handling it is basically doing just pure JavaScript. You can go down the route of using a third party framework like jQuery, which, you know, is a highly recommended way of doing it or, you know, using another more WebGL specific framework like free.js, which has a bunch of cool features, one of it being really good input but I'm going to show you how to do it using just raw JavaScript. So it's actually really simple and I've got this little bit of section here where we can detect it. So first of all, we need to create a or detect the body element. So equal document.query selector. And as it's the body, we don't have to put any hashtag or, you know, dot to signify an ID or a class, nothing like that. And now we can just say body element dot add event listener. And there's a few different event listeners. There's actually a bunch of them that you can actually detect, but there's only really free that you need for keyboard key down key press and key up and mainly you're only going to need key down and key up those are the two main ones key press isn't uh, you know fully supported on all you know keys recommend just doing key down and key up that will be all good to go key down is when you're pressing the key key up gets triggered once when you release that key so in case you want to detect when they released it for whatever reason uh, so yeah, you just put the event name here. So again, if you're detecting some other event, so it's just key down. And then you specify the method that this is going to call when it gets triggered. It, this name doesn't have to be the same as this. I've just kept it the same. And you just put false. Okay, so let's duplicate this. And let's do key up and key up okay so now what we need to do is create a couple of functions you can probably guess what they are so all of the events that you can detect have an event passed in and this event object just allows you to detect a bunch of information about what triggered the event so if i press a key you'll tell me what key was pressed you'll tell me a bunch of other information as well which is really really useful and what we're going to do is just do console.log, print our event. We'll do something a bit more complex in a bit. Key up. Okay, then. So let's get back to here. Refresh. And now if I press, let's say, P. It's detected it, so it's got it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so it has detected it. And if we look over here, it tells us a bunch of information. So I've just pressed, this is pressing the arrow up. Okay, so if I press P, Scroll down, it's got P. The code is key P and the key is P. So that's useful for, you know, detecting whether, you know, what you want to, you know, what key you want to detect. So I'd always just recommend printing it out, having a look at what it comes up as. Therefore, you know exactly what you need to type for the key code. So I pressed control and P then. And as you can see, it allows you to detect if control has been, you know, selected when you're pressing P. So you don't you know, first have to check if control is clicked, then have to check if some other, you know, key was pressed. You can just immediately access this parameter. And there's a bunch of other cool stuff that you can detect as well. Feel free to go through all of this. If you want to like use one of the values here or inside of here, you just put, so you just put event dot. So if I just put code, uh, we'll put key, because that's the one we'll be using in a second. And now, as you can see, it's just printing out the code. Okay, so now what we want to do is I'm going to do it. So 
I've, I've got some translation code already here it's already configured feel free to watch the videos covering you know translation scaling rotation all of the stuff but what i'm going to do is instead of having a hard-coded translation values i'm going to make it so we can move it using the arrow keys and some extra keys as well so in and out left and right and up and down so just going to do that in the key down section so i'm going to leave this commented out so what we're going to say is if arrow up is pressed so equals event dot key like so and i'm putting it before because it's a yoda condition which just technically technically means if i accidentally do that it won't it'll prevent accidental assignment okay and we need to create some translation variables so let's create them right here so var translation x equals 0, 0.0 so by default uh, we were not going to translate it anywhere and i think you can you know figure out what we're changing these to that's fine so now let's just implement this so for translation for arrow up we're going to affect translation y which is the vertical axis and we're going to say plus equals uh, 0.1 again you can tweak these values to make it you know more specific to what you want uh, put else and uh, let me duplicate this because we'll need a bunch of these okay so here we need to put arrow down i'm going to take away here uh, these need to be x this will be arrow left and right uh, we'll do right first arrow right plus equals 0 0.1 that's fine plus this will be minus equals so this will be arrow left and because we ran out of arrow keys i'm going to put just put home and end uh, let's do end here end home and plus and minus yep yeah, so good to go one little thing if we scroll down and instead of this instead of using these values here we can use what we created above so translation x translation y and translation z so if i refresh that it's just reset it back to the center position and that is because this has been commented out and we're using these translation values which are zero at the start now if i press up and down uh, let's close this it's moving the up and down if i press oh, i can keep it pressed as well and if i do home home moving the up and down so why is that i believe i have the answer i believe it is here yep i forgot to change this to z no mistake no biggie and if i press home you know makes it go forward or you can think of it like a camera you're moving away and yeah that's it so that is how you detect keyboard input simple stuff you can detect whatever key you want you can manipulate the game world and however you want with multiple key presses if you want to and you can do that by instead of having if else if because you may want to detect when multiple keys are pressed you just have multiple if statements feel free to have a go at that and as usual if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message